So I believe I've mentioned this before, but you know, with the 10-year anniversary of the return of the Freedom Fighters, you know, you know, its conclusion coming up next month, one thing that I got to thinking about was what you know what it led into um, afterwards 10 years ago. Because next year will mark 10 years since the Sonic Unleashed, World Shattered, Panic in the Sky arc, you know, occurred, which, as I've mentioned before, I consider being one of the better examples of how to do a continuous, you know, story arc, but make it feel like, you know, it's not, you know, self-contained. Like, it's just not like, you know, one issue after the other, you know, being, you know, uh, one continuous, continuous plot and everything, you know, and so on, but makes it feel like it's, it's but makes, makes basically every story and, e and every mini story feel like its own self-contained arc and, and the fact that you don't really have to read the overall plot to get an idea of what's going on, if that makes any sense whatsoever. But if there is one minor plot detail in, you know, in that story arc, you know, it's the fact of the dual memories. Now, we know that basically it was pretty much, you know, talked about, mentioned, and everything that the dual memories were just a minor detail and that the old memories from the old continuity and timeline were going to get replaced by the new ones. And that's fine. But when I look at that, and I believe I've mentioned this before, when I look at that, I look at the fact that basically... I believe Ian Flynn and his team missed out on an opportunity to really capitalize on those old memories before they slowly faded. You know, and for example, Sally. You know, I think with Sally, they could have had her along with Sonic, you know, have a confrontation with Eggman, you know, and maybe have them beat Eggman, but have Sally basically be so like, you know, angry upon seeing him because she still remembers what he did to her in the old world that not only does she help take him down, maybe in one of his mech machines or whatever, but when it looks like, you know, um, but when it looks like, you know, you know, he's on the ground, you know, trying to escape and everything, you know, she pounces on him. And just when it looks like she's about to maybe deliver the final blow, you have Sonic, you know, hold her back saying, no, Sal, this is not you. This is what Eggman made you into uh, prior you know, maybe you can have Sally basically, you know, cut off, you know, both sides of his mustache and then give him a warning of if you ever pull something like what you did with a global roboticizer in this world, I might forget being a freedom fighter. And then just leave him to his own devices. You know, basically give him a warning, warning, basically give him a stern, threatening warning of, hey, if you try to pull, pull something like what you did in the old world with another global roboticizer, you know, I might forget, you know, who I am. I might forget being a freedom fighter and finally do what's needed or something like that or something like that. You know, you could even have them you know, do a little, you know, back and forth, you know, dialogue between each other where while Sonic and her, you know, are fighting him off. You could have her, you know, bring up the fact that he, you know, took her sacrifice, you know, to protect her world and protect her people. Uh, you know, he basically took that away from her. He, her, he tarnished that by turning her into a living weapon. And then maybe you can have Eggman retort by saying, hey, no one told you to try to shut down my global roboticizer. You know, no one told you to do that. That's on you. And then again, you could have Sally retort by saying, hey, she was doing what she was trained to do, you know, since day one. And that's protect her people, you know, no matter what the cost. You know, or, you know, something along those lines. You know, you could have had something like that, but unfortunately we never got it. And to me, that's a missed opportunity. And I've mentioned, I've mentioned things about missed opportunities in Archie Sonic pre and post reboot that Ian Flynn and other writers could have, you know, capitalized on if they thought about it. And to me, and to me, this could have been an opportunity. Because again, you have, because again, you would have the moment or have the chance to have her confront Eggman about what he did to her. And then in return, you could have Eggman basically retort by saying, hey, no one told you to go, try, no one told you to go and try to stop my global roboticizer. You know, you, you did that to yourself. 
And again, Sally's retort, retortion back could be, hey, I was only doing what I was trained to do since I was born, and that's to protect my people, you know, from, you know, from, uh, you know, threats like you, you know, and so on. And even before then, you know, you could have her say, you know, say something along the lines of, you took my, you took the sacrifice that I made for my people, I made to save my people, and you tarnished it by turning me into a living weapon, you know. You could do stuff like you could you know you could do stuff like that, or you could have done stuff like that, and I think it would have worked. Yeah, it might, it might have you know it might have expanded the story a little longer than what it should have been, but there are certain moments you know in the issues of the uh, you know of the reboot of the pre of the soft reboot, if you will, the unleashed, world shattered, panic in the sky reboot that. I think honestly, there are moments in there you could have took out and replaced with something like that, and fans wouldn't bat an eye. In fact, fans might actually, you know, enjoy something like that more so than some of the scenes they saw later on. But that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. I mean, I know some people might say, "Oh, he didn't need to do that," and just having them with the dual memories be replaced by the new ones is better than nothing. And yeah, that's that's true. I mean, the fact that they had Nicole basically talk Sally up and encourage her and tell her, hey, you're, you're not alone in this. You know, you know, what happened to you in the old world doesn't matter anymore because, you know, this is a, a new start and everything. And we need the Sally of this world, who you are, to lead us, to, to lead us and guide us and be the Sally that encouraged Dulcie, encouraged Lupe, you know, and so on. And that woke her up. That basically woke her up and made her realize, yep, you know, you're right. You know, I can't, I can't, you know, do this by myself and I can't let something, you know, that happened to me in a previous lifetime, you know, uh, you know, wear me down. I can't do that. I just gotta, I gotta use something like that as motivation to, you know, to not only, you know, protect this world even more, but to ensure something like that doesn't happen again. You know, but do it in a positive way that doesn't, like I say, drag her down. And I like how, you know, Cream's response is, hey, you know, I know you have memories of an old world, but if you want to blame anybody, blame Eggman. Which, again, is good responses, and it's a good way to, you know, encourage and bring, you know, bring Sally's spirits up and make her realize, hey, you know, they're right. You know, Nicole's right. I, I shouldn't, I, I shouldn't basically be, you know, discouraging myself and holding what I did in a previous world you know, as a, you know, as a guilt for, you know, for me trying to do better and everything, I need to focus on being who I am here, who I am in this world. So I like, I do like that. I do like that. I do commend them for that. But again, there are opportunities with the dual memories, even as they were slowly fading, that they could have, you know, really capitalized on. And I think having her along with Sonic confront Eggman in one of the issues and bring up what happened I think would have been a great, would have been a great motivator, or not motiv motivator, but a great uh, moment to see, because at least you're having her confront the person that basically took her sacrifice and tarnished it to, you know, get back at the Freedom Fighters, to get back at Sonic. So, you know, that's just my opinion, though. But what do you guys think? Do you think it's a miss? It wasn't. You think that could have been a missed opportunity that they could have made a reality, or do you think things were okay the way they were? Let me know down below in the comments as well as in the live chat during the premiere. Like the video. And until next time, guys, I'm out.